Hello, hello my friends and welcome to another episode of Inside Out Electronic and today we have another little pr product from Waze and um, yeah, this is Waze plug. I never actually had a chance to review anything like that, but today we are gonna do it finally. So, what it is, obviously it's a smart plug. What can it do? Remote access, easy setup, vacation modes, timers. What are the specs? This is the model number, blah, 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 blah. And uh, it supports only 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for what it, what's included, wise plug and quick start guide. Okay, well, let's take a look what the heck is inside. Quickly, let's unbox it. I think unboxing will be pretty straightforward here. quick start guide and almost knock my camera off little ways plug sort of doesn't resemble resemble something no so before we actually start hacking and slashing this thing we will try to power it up and see if it works because I'm really planning to open it up very very simple probably just plug it up plug it uh, yeah plug it into outlet blah 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 press the button and connect very straightforward also I have my a meter handy over here I'm gonna see what's the power consumption of this thing in various modes let me zoom it a bit out because looks like uh, it's too narrow Okay, so we have our Android phone handy here and let's just plug it up or plug it in. So right from the start it consumes 1.4 watt. Let's see what's our power factor. 60 Hertz. Power factor is 45 or 40, uh, 0 0.45. So yeah, make your judgments yourself it's not the best power factor around the world so let me start the ways up what I need to find it first so here is different things I have in ways as you see I have a bunch of different ways products over here and let's just add device power and lighting wise plug Yikes. Oh, Bluetooth. Yes, this is oh, apparently this little oops. This little guy over here is new version 2021 version wise plug with Bluetooth. Let's do this guy. Uh, plug it in and press button. Okay. Oh shit, of course. Make sure your Bluetooth is on. Go back to the app. My Wi Fi. It'll be just wise plug plug. Maybe later. Not now. Cancel, not gonna upgrade anything. Click, clock, click, clock. Okay, it is connected and consumes 3329. Sorry, it's not consumed, it's power factor. It's actually quite a bit changed. Let's say, let's see what we have here 400 milliwatt, 500, half a amp, uh, half a watt essentially. Plug it in, nothing, no, nothing supposed to change. Actually, jump up. But why? Hmm, weird. I don't understand what's the difference between one mode and another. Unless it need to keep the relay energized. That's the only thing I, I, I could, could think of. Now, essentially, it's good, you're gonna add one watt of this um, smart plug power consumption to your for example if you try to control 
12 watt bulb so this plus your uh, plus your lamp gonna consume 13 so obviously it's about one watt okay so it seems like it is operational there is nothing else to say here it was quick and simple setup all right i think we can safely disengage obviously you can control this thing through this button which is actually quite nice Wow, oh, wow, that's really stuck in here. Wow. Okay. Hope by the time I got into it, the capacitor is going to be discharged of the uh, switch mode power supply. Okay, it has this very nice, very neat protection, which i thinking, how can I peel it nicely? Okay, and yeah, it's already like kind of asking for this assembly because over here there is like a gap which I, where I can insert this knife already. Should I try heat method or something else? Okay, I'll try heat method today. Let's see how that's gonna fly. Okay, I have my heat gun. I'll try to heat it up like here and I, I'm not sure it's like 250C. We'll see if that's gonna help it somehow. And also I will prepare my prying tools because I know I will still need them. Okay, it looks like I need to crank up the temperature. Oh, <laughs> okay, plastic is getting soft here. really sure if I like this method because it melts the thing essentially oh uh oh we have a problem I broke a knife well obviously it's just it's a uh, it's not designed for this kind of purpose all right guys it took me some time actually I still didn't finish but at least we're gonna try to do it together I was doing a lot of prying and pushing in order to get through I must say this is not the easiest one to open up wow that's hard and obviously I don't want to break it so um, yeah okay let me try one more time here on the edge of a table <coughs> Almost, almost there. Almost there. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I'm actually. Yeah, this button probably has to go in. Whoa, ho, ho. Hope I didn't break anything. I did break. I did broke this thing, I guess. Did I break something? No, it doesn't look like. Doesn't look like. This looks to be fine. Not sure what's, uh, what's, what's this about. Probably some sort of retainer. Yeah, this like, let me scrape it. With whatever leftover of knife I have. Ah, still doesn't let me. Remove it. How about this? Yes, that's better. 
Here we are. Ooh. Okie dokie. So, this is our case. We bit mangled. This is back plate. It goes like that. And it's glued. I will glue it, obviously. There's some. What the heck is this? Some kind of. I don't know. How relay was there. Some kind of uh, sticky glue, flux left over, whatever. Alrighty, so we have a little Wi Fi module over here. Edge soldered straight to the board. There is no contacts or anything like that. A little LED, golden relay. And move this golden relay 15 amp 125 VAC okay power supply over here so let me zoom in and I will continue I zoomed in in order to see a little bit more information so what do we have here we have a um, device which consists of few major pieces one of them is microcontroller another one is controlling relay and here is power supply which actually supply power to this guy and this guy to microcontroller and relay so we have a main input over here as you see there are many insulation cutouts because it's not just this main input not just for power supply this also goes through this relay so this relay is actually turns the device on and off. It's not solid state, I think it's just regular clunky relay. And the power supply side has metal, uh, it has a resistor over here, has filtering capacitor, uh, um, one amp fuse. Um, so this power supply is just to provide two voltages. So we have um, all pr power supply pre prerequisites, but we do not have dropping capacitor also we do not have a transformer so i'm wondering what the heck is going on so i assume this chip over here which called icw4080 is specifically designed chip to work on uh, to regulate voltage from like mains whatever uh, rectified 110 volts through those 200 volt capacitors to some meaningful levels probably like 12 or something like that voltages so this chip I cannot find any information on it if you know anything about ICW4008 please let me know but this is all I have unless this is some kind of transistors transistor in disguise because all those three pins uh, four pins over here they are connected to plus of this capacitor so yeah it's not like this 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 uh, chip require any external stuff or a lot of external stuff is probably something quite self-contained and not much passives around there the like capacitor two diodes another choke and we have another voltage regulator and this one is AMS 1117 and this is 3.3 volt LDO to power our microcontroller and the voltage in between is to actually turn the relay on and off I don't think relay works on 3.3 volt it probably needs like 12 or something to this extend um, don't know what the heck is the, what heck what kind of brand of this relay uh, so yeah I may have look it up but GH1F GH1A5LF so whatever it is so yeah and there is a button over here which probably connects directly to one of the IOS of the ISP32 and this guy as I already mentioned ASP32 DOWD dual core W um, Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth and two megabit of flash and some other jazz which is easy to google out this little guy is actually 32 megabit flash labeled 25VQ32 BTG or, um, yeah so it has two lines first one ra uh, says HA2033 uh, which was quite confusing because turned out to be that's not the one whatever it means but second line 25VQ32 BTG is actually a name of that particular chip so over here we have a, uh, our LED and necessary circuitry for LED and over here we have a transistor probably not probably highly likely to turn this relay on and off from up to one of the uh, GPIOs of the microcontroller 
I don't think there is anything else to talk about over here. That's pretty, pretty simplistic. Um, also want to mention a whole bunch of isolations cutouts over here because we're dealing with main voltages. I hope I'm not repeating myself because... Oh, also cool thing how boards are connected. So this board is slot, slot, uh, so soldered to the slotted, to the, uh, through the slot to the main board. And we have uh, some pins they are labeled straight on here but on the other side we have actually uh, over here labeled uh, rxtx which is kind of awesome so technically i don't know maybe it's possible to reflash this guy uh, and you know fiddle with their fir firmware not i needed to but that's uh, that's all that's all i can mention that's actually okay done like all is easy peasy and understandable except this chip so yeah, I would like to know what the heck is that. So guys, if you know anything about ICW408, please let me know or comment below. It'll be really, really interesting. So I'd like to take some pictures of this device and I'm gonna post them on my mobile, uh, mobile modding.info for you to take a look. And I think I'm gonna wrap up. I like the device. I think it's very easy to assemble back in the original shape. Uh, it's just like this like that and also gonna sprinkle some glue in order to make sure it's not gonna come apart all right so um, any comments any any ideas suggestions uh, please like and subscribe and all this uh, other jazz uh, i'd like to hear from you i would like you to uh, like my channel <laughs> if you find this useful please do so thank you very much for watching see you next time another episode of inside out electronics